Hello everybody, thank you so much for taking the time to click on this video to watch this short tutorial on something that I call a Pear Deck Ed Venture. Um, the idea behind it is that you have a linear session that you want your students to go through, you have content you want them to go through, but occasionally you know there are points where you need to stop the lesson and you need to give a deeper dive to those students who are understanding what you're teaching them and then maybe um, some reteaching or, or, or slower path for students who need a little bit more time to catch up and understand the material. Great for any subject, really great for math, but in a Pear Deck lesson, everything is already predetermined, um, except if you do this little hack. And this little hack is what I call an adventure. You already prepare a lesson for those who understand the material, and then another smaller lesson for those who need extra help. Um, and then you have those baked in to your Pear Deck. Another reason you may want to do this is it's not for high, high level or lower level learners, but um, maybe you have uh, like five different things you want the students to go to, but give them a choice on which five to go to instead of, instead of showing all five. And then um, each student can become an expert in each one, and then they can have a discussion and do a kind of a popcorn talk after the fact. So I want to show you how we can set this up. So first thing is every lesson that I create, I create a folder for that lesson. So let's just call it a generic lesson, space lesson. Um, and you have your full-on lesson right here. So unit six astronomy would be my full-on linear lesson where I have all of my slides and everything ready to go. Um, and then when I click on the add-on option, you have the option to actually include all the Pear Deck items right out of Google Slides. And actually just recently, Google Slides announced that it's available for PowerPoint as well as an add-in, not an add-on, um, through the Office 365 suite. So you can do this the same thing in PowerPoint as well. And so what you do is you go through and you set up, you know, your, of course your drawing questions and then you could do your free response questions but the big thing here is along the way there's going to be a section where you as the teacher just based upon uh, past context you know there might be a divergent uh, group of students and so what you should already have there is two extra lessons to go deeper into those subjects you know the students are going to need extra help on and so just for purposes of this i just made two generic ones so instead of looking at higher level learners and, and students who need a little bit extra help I, I i'm doing this more of um through this astronomy lesson do you want to learn a little bit more about the planets or do you want to learn, learn a little bit more about gravity and so i created two extra little mini lessons not full blown and i know some people may be asking or saying to themselves you know this is extra work for me as a teacher instead of one lesson i have to create three now the great thing about it is you can divvy this up amongst your departments. You can do the space lesson all three, um, or you can have people saying, okay, I'm going to make sure that I, I do the entire linear lesson for this unit. You're going to do the catch-up lesson or the, the lesson for those students who don't quite understand the material. And then uh, another teacher is going to go ahead and do the extended lesson, the lesson for those students who did get it, but need a little, that can go a little bit deeper into the subject. So I would say break it up, divvy it up upon your group. But here's the thing. It's key that you do this. And so I have my, my main lesson right here, Unit 6 Astronomy. Um, I have my mini lesson here on the different planets in the solar system. And then I have my mini lesson here on gravity and outer space. These are going to be the options the students are going to get to do. Now you have to kind of preset these up. You have to turn these into what are called student-paced lessons. To do that, you have to open up both of them. So here I'm going to open up this one first. And then you have to make sure that you have turned on your... Pear Deck, open Pear Deck, and then once the Pear Deck opens up, it gives you the option to present lesson or to publish lesson. Now, the, the one thing that I really wish could be done is instead of present lesson right up here, there's the option for student paste. I would love a button for student paste right below it. But for right now, you have to click on present lesson. And once you get into the launching of this lesson, you would go into the dashboard right here. And then what you would do is come in here and turn on student paste. And I've already done this. So you have to do this ahead of time. And you just have to turn those extra adventure lessons into student paste lessons. And you know those, are, those have been done uh, when you come into your Pear Deck and you see those two lessons right here right there, student paste. Those interactive slides for solar system and then gravity and space. So I know those are already turned on to student paste.
Now in my main lesson where you identify the location where the students are going to want to split and decide where they want to go, or you, you identify the location where, okay, this is where confusion is going to happen. So we're going to send our higher level learners to this slide deck and then our students who need extra help to this slide deck. What you're going to do is create a slide deck that looks just like this. Because your student paced version gives you a code, you could instantly put those codes in here. And here's the key part to it. You need to come through here and you need to add the option of sending them to a website. And so you would come down to the option of sending them to a website right here, www website. And the website I'm sending them to is the join pd.com and that's the join site for jumping into a pair deck and so let me show you what happens so once we've done this it's all ready to go oh and, um oh and by the way at the, afterwards i have a, a slide that asks a question which adventure did you choose and what did you learn when you went on that adventure and so once you've done it let me show you what this looks like and i'm going to show you both a a student version and a teacher version so what i'm going to do is make this a little bit smaller right here. There we go. And then I'm also going to bring in just a version right here. So I'm going to start this lesson. I'm going to click on present lesson. And so it launches the presentation. It's going to tell you to send the students to join pd.com and your students are going to type in this code. So off to my left right over here is my teacher version and then off to my right is my student version. So I'm going to type in the code as a student T K Z S B and it takes me right in to the join. It's going to make sure you're logged in so you can identify the students. And you can see that a student has joined and here we go. So it mirrors my screen. So when I move them forward, they move forward. And so this first one right here is a student drawing. So let's say you're asking the students to draw a couple things about the planets you know. So they come in here and draw. And then as a teacher, you can show responses of the students. So you can hide them so they don't, you know, they don't feel like they're being uh, singled out. Next, once again, we have chapter questions. So just a quick preview, you know, what's the most natural light of the earth? Let's say it's the sun, because it is. And you can once again see all the students' responses coming through. But here's the key. Imagine that this is the point where there's confusion, or this is the point you want to send them on an adventure to go to various things. If you look off to the side, part of it, it gives them the exact code to type in and then a place to type it in. So I'm going to type in, let's say I want to go to the, uh, the interactive planet. So I go to, I just type in C S N R P. And once I type it in, it takes them right to it. And remember, this is in a student paced mode. So the students are going to go through this all on their own, you know, and you would tell them you're going to get 10 minutes to go through your, your adventure session. You're going to get, you know, seven, eight minutes. You're just, you're going to give them amount of time. And when they're done, you can either lock their screen so they're done or go right on to the next one. No matter what they were in, boom, they're back into the linear session. So the whole idea here is that you have a linear session and you allow a divergent path to happen, whether it can be based upon skill level of the students or choice of what they want to go to. Imagine if you're doing this lesson on planets and then that adventure slide is all eight planets and the students get to choose which planet to go to and then they have to say what they learned about that planet. And so they're all learning from each other. And now if nobody wants to choose Uranus or Venus, right, you would, you would make sure that you would, you know, put them into groups, group one, you're going here, group two, you're going here, but regardless, they're going on an adventure. And finally, when they're done, they would type in their response. I saw Pluto and I know Pluto is not considered a planet anymore, but let's just do it right there. And they would 
sticking it in and then you would be able to see those responses as they're coming through. So that is, this is a way that you can have your linear progression and then all of a sudden allow the path to split so that you can instantly um, diverge, the, diverge into groups, one group for reteaching and one group for extending based upon learner's level, or they can diverge into multiple paths to identify a, a section of the material they want to dive deeper into, and then they would report back to the group. This is a really great idea to be doing in your class. It does, once again, take a little bit of time to set up ahead of time, but once it is done, I truly believe this makes a really um, innovative, uh, engaging lesson for the students. It gives students choice, it gives students voice, and it allows you to have kind of like breakout groups during the actual lesson so that you're not you know, you're not waiting till the end to kind of break the groups off. You're actually doing that reteaching, that relearning right during that lesson. So if you like this, please uh, uh, forward this video to different educators who are using um, Pear Deck. Um, if you like this video, please repost it on Twitter. Um, you can contact me at any time and ask me again how this is done, or if this wasn't clear enough, ask me to clarify it. You can find me on Twitter at Joe Marquez 70. Um, if you're going to be at ISTE, um, ISTE 19 uh, at the end of June, um, I will be there presenting on Tuesday, June 25th at 1215 in the Marriott, uh, Marriott Kennedy room 11, 12, and 13. So please come find me. Please say hello. Um, and if you like this video, please share it out with your friends. Um, so thank you so much for listening and have yourself a great rest of your day.